guys, so today is all about self-tanning. I'm going to explain in detail my actual self-tanning routine. So if you're ready, just keep watching. Okay, so first off, before you even self-tan, you need to prep your skin. What I like to do is go ahead and shower, shave, and exfoliate. When you get to the exfoliating part of your shower routine, I like to go in with the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub and Pomegranate. This is what it looks like. You can get this at Target. It's really inexpensive. It's like under $5. And if you're like me, you have pretty sensitive skin. This, because it has the sugar in it, it's not as harsh on my skin as some of the other exfoliants. I'm also going to link all these products below too, just in case you want to know where they are. But this is really good and really inexpensive, so I like to use this. And I also use my Loving Tan Polishing Mitt. This is what this looks like when I use this product. So I put this all over me, and then I take this and really rub it in to get all the dead skin. And any leftover self-tanner, you want all that off before you go in and self-tan again. So this works really good, it's gentle, it does a great job. If you have skin that's more normal, you can buy those little hand mitts that you can get at the drugstore. They're like $3 and they also work good. They're just a little bit harsher on your skin. So this process I do first thing in the morning. I do this in the morning because I'm going to self tan that night. I feel like, you know, you exfoliate your face at night and then, you know, you wash everything off and then you do your makeup and your skin looks really good. You know, not many people exfoliate their face and then go ahead and do their makeup. So I feel like you should kind of treat your body the same way and kind of let it heal from that exfoliating process because I feel like my tan actually does turn out better when I do it this way. So that's step one. Okay, so now it's probably nighttime and I'm ready to do my self, self tanner on my body. So what I like to do is take any kind of lotion. This is the CVS Pharmacy Eczema Care Moisturizing Cream Lotion. You can use any kind of lotion. I recommend one with no fragrance in it or you can use a body butter. What you're gonna do with this is you're gonna go ahead and put it on your hands, you're gonna put it on your wrists, your elbows, your kneecaps, and your feet as well. Go ahead and put all the moisturizer on just those areas so that when you put your self tanner on, it's not gonna be so harsh in those spots. So after you do that, you wanna go in with your self tanner. This is my holy grail self tanner. I highly, highly recommend this. I have been using self tanners since I was 13, so years I have been testing many, many different self tanners. And this one, by far, is the best one I've ever used. And I really don't have anything bad to say about it, and that's rare for me. With a self tanner, usually there's at least one thing I don't like about it. But this one, no, there's nothing I, I can say bad about it. But this one is the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in the color Dark. Yes, it is a mousse, so it's got a pump on it, so it's easy to apply. This self tanner, you will not streak. You will not turn orange. This is going to make you look like you have a sun-kissed glow from the sun. You're going to look like you went to the Bahamas for a day. So this does great. And not to mention it's two hours. So that means you put it on and then two hours you shower off, you are done. I mean, how awesome is that? It's great. This retails for $34.95, which I don't think is too bad. And also the last time I purchased it, it was free shipping as well. So awesome. And also this one lasts me anywhere between five to seven days before I have to reapply. The scent on it is very light. There's not a very strong scent on it. So, I mean, what's not to love? And the color guard, extremely dark, extremely, extremely dark. So what I like to do is use a mitt. Highly, highly recommend using a tanning mitt. This is a St. Tropez mitt. This is around like 650 from Ulta or Sephora. But this one I feel like works the best of all the mints I've tried so far. But if you use your hands, if you use gloves, it's just not going to turn out as good. So get, get a mint. <laughs> do it. <laughs> okay, what I do then is I'm going to pump out two pumps, then start blending on my arm. Then I'm going to go back and do two more and then start blending again. And I'm going to do that for everything. I'm going to do that for this arm, my legs, my stomach, my back, my chest, all that. So then all you have left is your face, your hands, and your feet. Now, to do those, I do not recommend using a mitt. 
it never turns out right when I do that. What I recommend is using a kabuki brush. I know this sounds crazy, but this seems to work the best. This is an e.l.f. kabuki brush. This is like $6. This is awesome. So what I do is I take the self tanner and I do one pump and I do my face. This has not broken my face out. I haven't had any problems with this except the self tanner doesn't last as long on my face because I do exfoliate my face twice a week and that's the only reason. But if you're someone that likes to self tan um, your face, I haven't had any issues with this. So one pump and then go ahead and blend it all on your face. Then you're going to do half a pump and do each hand and then half a pump and do each foot. So half a pump, half a pump, half a pump, half a pump and blend it all like you like it. Now if you see, oh I didn't blend that really well on my arm, you can go in with this and then go ahead and blend anywhere that needs to be blended. So you're set. And then to wash this, all I use is some Dawn and some olive oil and mix it together and then just clean it in some like room temperature water underneath the sink and then just let it dry. But this has been a lifesaver. So then you have your back left. Now if you have someone at the house with you while you're self tanning, great. Go ahead and get them to put this on and do two pumps and then blend it in and then two more and then blend it in. Me personally, I'm usually doing this all by myself. So what I like to use is my Body Buddy. I got this from Amazon and all you do is you put the product on here. So I do two pumps and then you're going to take it and then you're going to do, let's see if you can see that. Go ahead and do your back with this Body Buddy. So you'll do this part and you can even do your lower back like this with it as well and then go ahead and do the other side also. And because the color guard is so dark, you will be able to see where it goes. Now to clean this, I just use some baby wipes and it comes right off. I think you can even wash these too, but that just seems to be the easiest way to clean it for me. Okay, now once your self tanner is all on your body the way you like it, I like to go in with some baby wipes and go ahead and go back over my hands and my feet, my elbows, and my kneecaps just to make sure they're not too dark. So once you've done that, you want to make sure everything's dried before you put on any clothing. I like to wait at least five minutes before I put clothes on. And then I like to wear either like a really loose dark tank top and then some loose shorts, you know, nothing that's going to be really tight on the body. And you have two hours to not get wet and not sweat. So what I like to do is just lounge around the house and you know watch a movie or get on YouTube or something. Something that's not going to be where I'm going to have to wash my hands or nothing too crazy that I'm going to be sweating. So that is the key. Don't do that. Just sit there and be good. So once time is up and it's been two hours, you can either let it stay on your skin for a little bit longer if you want to go darker, or if you're ready for it to come off, go ahead and shower. Now when you shower, do not use your loofah. You don't want to use that because that's going to be too harsh on your skin that you just applied self tanner. Use a washcloth. I promise you this will help. Go ahead and use your washcloth and shower like normal. And you will, with this self tanner, it's got that color guard, so you'll see some color come off. Don't freak out and be like, oh my god, my tan's gone. No, it's okay. It's still there, but the color guard has to come off. And then when you get out, go ahead and moisturize again. Every time you shower, moisturize. That is going to stem the life of your tan. Now, you can also get a gradual tanner, and it's going to even prolong your tan longer. Me, because sometimes I get eczema, I found out the gradual tanners just don't work well with my skin anymore. So I have to use, unfortunately, this lotion instead, but that's okay. I just use this every time I get out of the shower. It makes a huge difference, I promise you. Now, if you get out of the shower and later that night you notice, oh my goodness, my hands look bad, or oh my goodness, I missed that spot, or that spot's too dark, don't freak out. We can get rid of that. All you need to do is either get Dawn and toothpaste and mix it together and get something like this polishing scrub and work it in to get it off. Or you can use warm water and baking soda and do the same thing in any area that's way too dark or doesn't look right. So don't worry, it's not going to be like that for a whole week. 
And that pretty much completes my self-tanning routine. I hope this was helpful to y'all. I know that, you know, over the past years, I have had crazy self-tan and crazy orange hands and just a mess before. So I was really thankful when I found a lot of tips to help fix it because, you know, I'm trying not to get in the sun this year and I haven't been in the tanning bed in t over two years. So this process seems to really work for me and I really am happy with how my tan comes out when I do this process. So I hope this helped, but if y'all have any other tips and tricks or any products you recommend, please comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it so much. If you subscribe to my channel, thank you, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't, please do. That way you can always catch my videos. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. Bye.